um, necessarily see, but I want to make sure you're coming up. Who is uh, the Vice President of Maritime at uh, New York City's Economic Development Corporation. And he's going to be talking um, about the East River Ferry Project, which is... Um, thank you. Speech. <laughs> Such such a tension when you're an organizer for Petra Kutcha in New York, um, which is I think a, you know for any of you who have taken it over the past few months um, has completely opened up the idea of what commuting from Brooklyn um, to downtown or midtown Manhattan means. So it's been an incredibly effective and I think successful project. So uh, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. So here's an iconic image of New York and its harbor, the Staten Island Ferry. Uh, for hundreds of years, there's been a ferry going back and forth between Whitehall and St. George and Staten Island. Some of these ships carry upwards of 6,000 people. But by the 1970s, this was the only passenger ferry service in the region that was still in existence. The others had been done in by the Brooklyn Bridge and the tunnels, and by the fact that most of the residential development in the city had moved inland. The waterfront was devoted to industry, to port commerce, but by the 50s it began to decline, and by the 70s and the 80s it was nothing but derelict and abandoned. And so the idea that somehow waterfront uh, ferry service would revive seemed odd until 1986, when Arthur Imperator, June, a senior over in uh, New Jersey, bought an abandoned rail line and decided, I'll make a residential community out of the waterfront on the Hudson. He realized, however, he had no way to get people to Manhattan. Instead, he had to create a transportation system to get them there, and New York Waterway was born in 1986. The public sector soon jumped in and developed infrastructure to support this nascent private ferry network. Here's the Weehawken Terminal. Uh, since then, with a combination of Port Authority and city money, we've developed uh, ferry terminals at the World Financial Center, uh, 39th Street, Pier 11, and 34th Street. And finally, the development in New York City began to catch up with what happened in New Jersey. You heard Plan YC mentioned before. It included a specific component about ferry development. Three things. One, let's pilot a system to the Rockaways using some council money. Two, let's develop a citywide ferry study. And three, let's look at East River service. Well, we launched the Rockaway service in June of 2008. And I must admit it wasn't very successful and we shut it down two years later. And the reason was it didn't have very frequent service and it really provided no commute options during the off-peak period. So we said we need to look at what the characteristics of a successful ferry service are. And here's the citywide ferry study. We looked at 41 sites across the city. We looked at how many people live there in walking distance, driving distance, what their commute were like now, what their travel times were like now, what their travel cost was like now. Was there new residential development occurring in those neighborhoods? And our consultant, Appleseed, found that there were four potential corridors in the city that had the ability to perhaps support a ferry service, albeit not one that is privately funded like the Hudson River services, but one that would require some type of subsidy. We also found in that study that recreational service off-peak weekends offered a real opportunity to decrease that subsidy level, and New York Harbor Way partnered with us on the study. So the third element of Plan YC, the East River Ferry Service, going from 34th Street to Wall Street, serving five destinations in Brooklyn and Queens. Our first challenge, we had to build some landings. No landings existed in Greenpoint or in North Williamsburg. And you can see in North Williamsburg, a 35 or 40 story building did exist. We had a ready-made constituency, no way to get them there. So with a grant from Congressman Nadler and Maloney, the dreaded earmark, we built a ferry landing. And with private developer actually contributed the funding to build the landing in Greenpoint. We then had to secure an operator. So we issued an RFP for services. And as we were going through this procurement process, the city kept cutting back the amount of money we had to run the East River service. So we said, give us your best and final offers. And finally, in February, we ended up awarding the contract to New York Waterway. Over the next four months, we had to actually get the service up and running. We had to develop schedules, marketing materials, uh, train the crews, uh, really build it almost from scratch. We actually came up with a logo, which is the only piece of urban design you'll see in this entire presentation. <laughs> 
Um, on March, on June 13th, one day after we drove the last pile at North Williamsburg, the mayor and the speaker and a host of other luminaries opened the service. And it's been a success since then, except for the occasional hurricane. Um, we have 20 minute service in the peak hours going both directions. During the off peak, we have 30 minute service. And on the weekends, we have service running every half hour, including Governor's Island as a recreational destination. Tickets are four bucks. You get them from these ticket vending machines, which we had to install and created a whole host of urban design issues in and of themselves. Um, Twelve bucks for an all-day pass. Kids are free. Bikes are a dollar. Um, we've had very successful ridership. So far, we're exceeding our ridership expectations by double on the weekdays. And on the weekends, we're showing five times the number of people that we thought would ride the service. Um, it turns out that four bucks for a joy ride on the water is a very good deal on a sunny summer Sunday. However, uh, when it's 12 degrees outside, you probably want a place to wait. And if you notice our East River Ferry Service, there is no place to shelter yourself from that 12 degree day in the winds on the East River. So one of our challenges is how do you integrate passenger shelters and ticket vending machines and other accessories to the service in an, into the very carefully designed urban form that's become a part of the Greenpoint Williamsburg zoning and our other locations. Our other challenges, well, we didn't realize that people on the weekends, as opposed to walking briskly, tend to saunter, meander, or waddle their way onto the boats. So we've had to like add an additional boat on the weekends to make up the schedule. Finally, uh, with respect to funding, it's amazing how much clip art there is on pro a PowerPoint that involves uh, boats and dollar signs. Um, this is a three-year pilot program, so we've got to find money in the future to keep the service going. Does that come from a, the city? Does it come from another partner? Do we look at governance options like the transit authority taking over the operation of the East River Ferry. Can we grow the service to a point where it requires a much smaller subsidy than it does today? Those are all the questions that we're dealing with now and will over the course of the pilot program. But for now, people like the service, they enjoy it, they have a smile on their face when they use it, and perhaps one day this image will be as iconic as the Staten Island Ferry in terms of plying our waterways. Thank you. Yeah.